Some store owners in downtown Athens fear that their shops won't survive much longer. The local businesses took a hit during the pandemic, but they say they are now losing money because of construction. Fox 5's Janice Yu has the details. The construction is happening just steps away from some of the uh, front entrances to some of these shops in downtown Athens. Now, some of the business owners tell me they're facing some serious financial trouble if they don't get some help soon. The street is mostly taken up by construction. For the last six months or so, this has been the view outside of Margot Metaphysical in downtown Athens. Well, it keeps people from being able to come in and it keeps people being able to park downtown. The construction is a part of a $12 million project to improve Clayton Street, making it more pedestrian friendly and adding things like benches and bike racks. It'll also replace stormwater drainage and sewage infrastructure. While the improvements are great, Jill Furman says her store, as well as other local shops, won't survive long enough to see it completed. If you have a thousand going out every day and only 300 coming in, it, it gets bad fast. Furman says this should be a busy time of year for the shops with students back at UGA, football starting back up again, and with the holidays just around the corner. But she says business has been lagging. I, I have seen an impact, especially over the last three to four weeks, significant but surprisingly, we're doing worse now than we were a year ago. According to the timeline, some portions of the construction have now been delayed and are now supposed to be finished by November at the latest. But this entire project isn't expected to be done until next spring. Furman and store owners say they want some help from city leaders to stay afloat. Free parking, advertising, and some sort of grant or loan system to help the struggling businesses so they can get through this and downtown won't be taken over completely by corporate run businesses and it will stay charming. Furman tells me there's just about 30 other businesses in this downtown area that are all banding together and voicing their concerns to the mayor as well as commissioners. In Athens, Janice Yu, Fox 5 News.